for YouTube, this is Helsinki Rocks AGF, the webcam video. Anyway, uh, I'm going to start off with some pickups. I know my last video was also a pickups video, but um, after that, a couple days later, I found some really good scores uh, at a Goodwill, and I got a couple packages in the mail as well, so I just thought I'd go ahead and talk about that. First off, some non-gaming related things. I actually got some Muzak here. Picked up a couple Beatles albums. I am going to get a complete Beatles album collection. So we got Rubber Soul, which is uh, an album that I wasn't really all originally into that much, but I gave it a few, quite a few listens the other day, and um, I really like Rubber Soul. Then we got the ever classic Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Now, I want to show you guys the size of the manual for this thing, which is freaking huge. Like, I know it's really hard to kind of tell, but for a CD, this manual is, like, gigantic. Let me see if I can pull out the, uh, Rubber Soul manual. Or not manual, I'm just talking about a games booklet. Alright. There's Rubber Soul. So about like that, and then Search for Pepper. Uh, so yes, it's freaking gigantic in comparison. Then I also got... John Lennon's Imagine. Uh, John Lennon is my favorite Beatle, and I've been trying to slowly pick up his albums, too. Reply to a text message real quick. Anyway, next I'm going to move on to packages that I got in the mail. First up is uh, Extreme G3. Now, I actually already had this game but uh, I bought it from GameStop complete for $2 a while ago, but the disc uh, was scratched and wouldn't work. So I ordered a disc-only copy on eBay, and I actually have a working copy. I'm really excited to play this because I do love the Extreme G games. And then next up, I um, got a package from a guy on Pete's Game Room forum, but I bought some stuff off of him. Um, this first game is actually a Platinum Hits game. It's Blinks the Time Sweeper, and it came in a Platinum Hits case, but uh, UPS had like crushed the case and like the, uh, I don't know, you can't probably can't tell, but the artwork is ripped and it's torn, it's, uh, but it still looks complete and uh, luckily the manual, the di uh, disc is actually in the Xbox, the manual and the disc were not damaged. They had a couple of RPGs. Uh, I heard that these aren't necessarily the best versions of said RPGs, but um, you know, I still want to give them a shot because I don't really play that many RPGs. We got Final Fantasy Chronicles, the Final Fantasy IV on Chrono Trigger. Um, I haven't got around to playing them yet, but I'm looking forward to it. It's actually really nice condition. I believe Chrono Trigger is actually in my PS3 right now. Nope, it isn't. But I can't wait to play these. But I got a really good deal. I mean, I paid like a couple, more than five bucks for it, but you know, not a lot. And then uh, at Goodwill, this is what the majority of it is. Uh, I don't really ever find a lot, but this last time I went in, and usually when they have games, it's like PlayStation 2 sports games or whatever. But this time I actually found Genesis games, and they were all marked at one dollar. So I'm gonna start off right here with Six Pack, which is Sonic the Hedgehog, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, Revenge of Shinobi, Columns, and Super Hang On. The only one of which I had an actual cart for is Sonic the Hedgehog, so that's cool. And then we got. The Arcade Classics with Centipede, Missile Command, and Ultra Pong. And then we got Toy Story. And then I also got some complete Genesis games, which is awesome, because I don't have a lot. We got Asterix and The Great Rescue. Uh, it looks to be just some sort of 2D platformer. I haven't played many of these yet. And the game that I have played, I don't have any that I didn't have anymore, was Echo the Dolphin. Which, I'm not very good at these games, but I love to play them. They're just such interesting uh, games. And then we got Jurassic Park on the Genesis. Uh, you know, I'm not really a big fan of Jurassic Park, but it looks like a pretty fun game, and I will give it a shot. <clears throat> then I actually picked up a copy of Sonic the Hedgehog 1 Complete, which I already had. But my copy didn't have the tab, and my copy also um, was in slightly worse condition. I'm going to put the camera down here so you can see the difference. That's the one I picked up. 
and this is the one I bought, uh, I already had, it's really sun faded compared to this one, so I'm actually really glad to have a not sun faded version. A similar thing here, some of you guys remember a while ago I did a video about getting this Sonic 3 artwork and case off the internet, um, and I also got the manual for it, but... Little did I fall. No, I would find Sonic, uh, actual Sonic 3. It wasn't complete, it didn't have the manual, but since I'd ordered the manual for that uh, reproduction case, I stuck it on in here. Now I have a complete copy of Sonic 3, which is awesome. I'm sorry about that glare, the light's really bright in here. And then I got two more games, which were for a console that I don't own, but for a dollar I couldn't pass them up. And I do want to get this console at some point. Uh, these are the only two games for this console I've ever seen in the wild. Uh, complete anyway. I've seen the one or two cartridges usually thrown in with uh, Genesis games. And we got some Afterburner on the Sega Master System and Enduro Racer on the Sega Master System. So, you know, for $1, I can't complain. I'm really looking forward to giving some of you a shot because I've really been wanting to play my Genesis a lot. And prior to this, the only games I had were Sonic 1, 2, and 3. Uh, so I've got some new stuff to play and I'm Really excited about that, and I'm going to show you guys my dog after I reply to this text message. My girlfriend's on her lunch break at work, so I'm just texting her. Anyway, come here, girl. She's a fatty. Gosha. Say hi. Just the other day, we went and actually registered her. She's. I'm gonna take this off because you're being difficult. She's Ohio Dog 999. And she's a cutie. She's an Australian Kelpie that we rescued. All right, no, no, you want to go. Go, go. And she darted. Oh, thanks for watching, YouTube.